is Anna Akana, and it is such an honor to be here tonight. As someone who started their stand-up career at 19, being on stage in front of massive audiences has always been a dream of mine. So being here at Radio City Music Hall feels so incredibly surreal, so thank you. Especially because, oh, thank you, thank you guys, thank you. Yeah. Well, especially because, you know, eight years ago when I started my YouTube channel, I was a one-woman team just making content in my bedroom, so I never really imagined I would get here. It's great. Uh, I grew up in a military family. My dad was a navigational officer in the Marine Corps. And growing up, my parents and my two siblings and I would move across the world and across the United States every couple of years. And in many ways, I credit those moves for making me into the adaptable and resilient person I consider myself to be today. When I was 17, tragedy struck my family. Uh, my little sister, Christina, committed suicide when she was 13 years old. Oh, it's been 11 years and sometimes that's really hard to say. My life is really a before and after of this pivotal moment. And it's something that I've been incredibly vocal and open about because it defined the entire trajectory of my life. And it is the reason why I do what I do. I started performing stand-up comedy as a teenager because I just needed to make other people laugh. I needed to make myself laugh. And it was the healing power of comedy that helped me move past the sadness that haunted my family. So every day, I would get into my Montero Sport and I would drive the three hours to Los Angeles, hitting up open mics, coffee shops, even laundry mats hoping to connect with people and to help them escape the tragedies of their own lives for a moment, the way that comedy let me escape. And there's nothing more humbling and or humiliating than trying to say your jokes in front of a loud washer while everyone there is just quietly folding their underwear and not making eye contact with you. But I really didn't care because I loved what I was doing so much. At 21, I decided to take a leap of faith and I moved to LA. And it was around then that I started doing YouTube. And one of the biggest reasons that I was inspired to start a channel is because that when I started, the biggest stars on this platform were Asian. Folks like Ryan Higa, Wong Fu, Michelle Fan. Yeah, OG, right? They're awesome, thank you. I was blown away by the content that they were creating. You know, in a world where Asians are typically relegated to two-dimensional characters often defined in the credits as like smart friend number two or Chinese gangster number five, I was so excited to see these people who look like me creating content that resonated with their audiences, whether it was comedy, lifestyle, or narrative drama. And these people had huge audiences, millions of people from around the world tuning into every video. You know, YouTube has given me a chance to create, to entertain, and to make people around the world laugh without barriers or stereotypes. Asian Americans are incredibly underrepresented in traditional media, and thanks to the democratization of content on YouTube, we now have a platform that showcases our talent. It makes it possible for anyone to share their voice. With YouTube for the first time, I finally felt like my life and my future were actually up to me. YouTube has been the equivalent of my film school. And I no longer had to be frustrated by the lack of diversity on screen because now I had the opportunity to write and produce the authentic stories that I wanted to tell. With YouTube, there's no glass ceiling, there's no white guy in a suit telling me there's no bankable Asian stars, and there's no bit parts. YouTube has also given me this incredible megaphone to touch people's lives and to have a real impact. Beyond comedy, I also tackle important issues like suicide prevention and mental health awareness to honor my sister and to help those who might be struggling with depression as well. And at first, oh, well, thank you. Thanks, girl. Thanks, girl. Thanks. Thanks. Thank you. Yeah. You know, at first, I wasn't sure how it would be received when I first started talking about this stuff because you worry how people are going to perceive this kind of topic. But the way that it was received was amazing. Like, everyone was like, no, I struggle with this too. I lost a family member in this way too. And it emboldened me to keep sharing my story. It also made me realize that we all have the common desire to just understand ourselves and learn how to be better. And it also made me realize that as a YouTube creator, you know, while I spend most of my time being irreverent, I have a responsibility to my audience, 
to do right by them and by the other creators on this platform, as well as many of you in this room. In fact, brands like Pantene and Squarespace have supported my creativity, and with that support, I can fund my passion projects year after year, and for that, I'm incredibly grateful, so thank you. And in the last few years, I've been fortunate, I've been fortunate enough to have been offered acting roles in Ant-Man and to create my own TV show on YouTube Red's Youth and Consequences, thank you, where I executive produce and I play the lead. It's fun, I'm three-dimensional. And because of that, you know, people often ask me, well, is YouTube just like a stepping stone for your acting career? And the fact is, I love being an actor, and yes, I will be in any Ant-Man movie. I will be in all the Ant-Man movies. But honestly, YouTube is my home. It's my creative playground, and it's here that I feel a sense of community. I feel like I belong here. I feel like I have a purpose here. And most importantly, it's here that I feel like my voice is heard. Thank you. Thank you.